In this video, I'm gonna show you why recording your Zoom meetings with OBS can be up to 10 times higher quality. All this and more coming up next. Welcome back everybody. Really quickly, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do. As you can see, only about 11% of our viewers subscribe. It's totally free. So hit that red button and you'll get all of our video updates as we make more videos. So why should you be recording your videos with Zoom? It's kind of complicated. You need two monitors, you need two virtual audio cables, and you need to run two applications, right? You need to run OBS and Zoom. But by the end of this video, you'll see that you can actually 10x, 20x if you want to, the quality of your video recordings with your Zoom meetings. So let's take a look at this really quickly. So most video callers in Zoom are only 320 by 240. Some of them might be 640 by 480, and that's what a lot of the Zoom recordings in the cloud are. Most local recordings are 1080, or sorry, 1280 by 720. But if you want to get up into the full HD, the 1920 by 1080 realm, you're going to need to use something like OBS or VMix. So resolution is one thing, but bitrate is really the most important thing. And Zoom cloud recordings can be less than one megabit per second. And I'll show you my test results. Zoom local recordings to your computer are a little better, but they still are usually less than two megabits per second. I mean, most you know, HD video live streams and, and what you see on television is between six and eight megabits per second. A lot of professional YouTubers like to push it to 10 to 20 megabits per second, certainly where 4K video is headed. So you can 10x your video quality by using OBS, and I'm going to show you how. Here are some statistics from YouTube. Generally, a 1080p video should be around 8 megabits per second. That's important, because that's what we should really be shooting for, and Zoom does not allow us to do that. But remember, Zoom is an awesome tool, and we all love using it, right? So let's use it for what it's good for. Make sure you understand your recording settings in Zoom. Those can be found in the Zoom client itself, and also in your recording dashboard uh, when you log into your Zoom account. Let's take a look at some of the things that it's really great for. You can optimize for third-party video editing, which we did some tests on that. You can record the active speaker, the gallery view, and the screen share all at the same time. You can save all the chat messages. You can actually save an entire audio transcription of everything that was said. So Zoom does a lot of great things. And I do believe in the cloud, cloud computing, it's going to get better and better and better. And you can literally record a meeting with your smartphone or your Google Chromebook. You don't need a powerful PC to do that. But let's take a look at the results of where Zoom cloud recording is today. These are the results. Quality is an issue. Uh, the resolution for my Zoom meetings was 640 by 360. Okay, it's not even HD. And the bit rate is less than a megabit. That to me is not good enough quality for YouTube. Okay, and that's what this video is about. We recorded locally and we got better results, 1280 by 720p, and we got about two megabits per second. Uh, interestingly enough, when we did not optimize the video, we actually got a higher bit rate. So it's a little better, but still not that great. Now, we did try recording all the cloud recordings at once, all three videos, and we got some interesting results. It's a really cool feature, but the quality is just not great yet. And I do think it will get better. So why would you want to use OBS? Well, OBS allows you to play HD videos and record HD videos in a high bit rate. Uh, something a lot of you guys like is creating custom meeting countdown timers in OBS and transporting them into Zoom to let people know when the meeting is starting or when they're done, uh, when the time is up for speaking. You can record and stream in the same time. You can do that with Zoom, but in OBS, you can do it in a high bit rate. And we'll show that in a moment here. You can do so much with OBS, I'm just scratching the surface here, but the cons are it requires a lot of computer power, it's hard to set up, it can be hard to set up, and it's just not as easy as using Zoom. But as I said, you know, you can enhance the audio quality, you can do these countdown timers, some really cool stuff. And I'll even share some free virtual sets that you can use with OBS. You can live stream at the same time, you can use NDI, you can even do amazing plugins for audio. But again, it requires two applications, so an additional piece of software included with Zoom, extra to Zoom. And it takes a little time to learn. It's not as intuitive as Zoom is, I'll be honest. 
But it's the biggest thing is that if you've got a great camera, if you've got a DSLR camera, if you've got a PTZ camera or a really nice webcam, recording it locally in a high bit rate will always get the best quality. So if you're in a studio like we are, we have eight cameras in here. We want to record all of those locally to get the best quality. So it's awesome for video production. You can impress your friends and your coworkers. How does it work? Well, we have an entire video on how to connect OBS and Zoom. So I am not going to go into depth with this. But essentially in OBS, if you have two monitors, you can do a screen capture on everything in Zoom. So you know, make sure you have it in full screen. Make sure you enable group HD. Make sure you have your webcam set to HD. And you can capture all of that happening on Zoom. And then you can actually connect the audio video as well. So it's really great stuff. There's a whole link in the description below. I'll touch on it a little bit in this video. But again, so much you can do in recording in high quality, including free virtual sets, which I would love to share with you guys in the, the links below. Don't forget to hit that HD button on your webcam. Don't forget to enable HD video mode, which will inactivate higher quality video for hosts and participants. That happens in your Zoom dashboard. That, that should upgrade you to 720 and possibly 1080 if you're a business or an enterprise plan. So something to know about. Avoid the virtual background feature in Zoom. It uses additional processing power and it tends to lead Zoom to cap your video at 360p. You can take a look at your video settings in the settings area of Zoom so you can keep an eye on what is actually going on. I do that all the time. Kind of led to a lot of these videos that we're creating today. And you can create all these awesome meeting countdown timers. So I'll leave you with a couple tips inside of OBS. If you've come this far, you're probably thinking about using OBS. This is how I captured uh, a Zoom meeting here in OBS. Essentially, there is a new feature Called, if you're new to OBS, it's called virtual camera. And when that's on, you can actually bring your OBS video directly into Zoom. So that's pretty cool. It just shows up as a camera inside of Zoom and you can use it. So uh, very cool stuff. And that's the way it works. We're getting a little mirroring right now because I'm recording this video. The other thing that's really cool is sending whatever audio you want into Zoom. So you can create custom audio mixes with videos, and background music, and your microphone, of course, by using this new filter called Audio Monitor. So those two things together have made you know, using OBS with Zoom so much easier. So take a look at our tutorial video on that so you can learn more I believe it's a super powerful way to increase the quality of your recordings. If your Zoom meetings are important to you, this is a great way to do it. And I'll leave you with a quick little outro. So that is why using OBS with Zoom is super powerful. If you want to learn more about how to connect OBS and Zoom, check out the description in this video and the additional videos where you can learn more. We tried to do a lot in less than 10 minutes, so check out the blog post and the included videos. Of course, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, you won't become a video production expert overnight. We want to help. Hit that like button if you want to see more videos about Zoom and OBS. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.